Hey everybody, it's V. How you doing? I thought this would be a good opportunity for a public service announcement for an issue that I just had and it scared me good. So uh, I'll also kind of combine this with the uh, use of the Star Runner uh, with uh, the ATLS as well. So kind of a two birds, uh, one stone kind of thing. So uh, let me kind of set the scenario for you. I had done a few mining jobs before I was gone for the weekend on a canoe trip. And they uh, were completed when I got back. Uh, I decided that the amount of cargo was right around the perfect amount that the, you know, I have a C1, a Star Runner, C2. And, you know, if, if my refining jobs are around 64 SEU, I'll use the C1. If they're, you know, somewhere where, you know, south of 114 SEU, I'll use the Star Runner. If, uh, you know, they're north of that, then I'll go ahead and use the C2. Um, and those are my cargo vessels uh, and how I like to do it. And in this particular case, um, the cargo was going to fit very comfortably into the Star Runner here. Um, and I spawned, you know, I went down to the refinery. I selected the Star Runner. I had four different jobs. Uh, and when I spawned the Star Runner, there was zero cargo in this hangar, uh, in the sub cargo bay. There was, there was nothing. And I, you know, I kind of panicked. Uh, I went to the issue council and I checked and there was a bit of a known issue with that. Uh, but I, you know, I didn't, you know, I, I went ahead and I logged off of Star Citizen and I joined the EU server just trying to see if maybe it would show up if I, I did not leave the station. You know, I, I went ahead and I went back to menus. I went to an EU station. I came and I spawned the ship. Uh, the cargo was not there. Um, I went back to best uh, here, you know, North America, best, uh, you know, option for the servers. I came, I spawned the ship and the cargo was here. So I, yeah, I wanted, to, this is like a public service announcement. If you do sp like move the, your cargo from the refinery to your cargo ship and it doesn't spawn, maybe there's a timing issue or something going on. Let's not lose our cargo. Um, you know, it's one of those things where I just kept kind of spawning the ship until the cargo showed up. Now, I'm not saying everybody's going to have that experience, but this is what I did to solve that problem. I just kind of spawned the ship in a different server cluster, spawned the ship back uh, in the more, you know, in the regional area that I was in. And like I said, the cargo did show up. So without further ado, well, let's go ahead and get... You know, I will kind of complete the rest of this. Now, I may fast forward a little bit of this. All right, for part two of this video, I thought what I would do is show you how cool the uh, Atlas is at moving cargo out of the uh, Star Runner. So it is just, it's just a, just a beast at this situation. So you can kind of roll forward there. You can see you got to get the um, hologram just where you want, but that thing will go right in there and just just do hero's work you can drop it way back in the back and it's just yeah i mean it's just it's just great i mean this particular ship this thing does a great job i mean obviously you know you, there's a certain order you need to grab the boxes <laughs> oh man i've i'm really mess it it actually I, I, you know don't uh, don't mistake the operator error there for 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 its own failure but uh, no, this thing really does do a great job at at, uh, at unloading the cargo way faster than I ever could. Um, with you know you know and place it way out there, and it, and it does take you know a little getting used to, but that's okay. As you can see, I've I've had some uh, some success, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Perfect. Yeah, you can absolutely just get this guy unloaded very quickly. Oh, almost I almost had that thing lined up. There we go. Perfect. All right, we started out our day kind of sad cuz it didn't seem like things were going to go well. But this is things did wind up okay. So here's some final numbers from uh so I got 500,000 worth of Quantanium, 20 SCU, good stuff. I'll go ahead and sell that. All right. 93,000 Vexalite, so about, uh, you know, 593, around 600,000 roughly. Okay, max here, another 222, so um, 7, 8, 
a little 825 or so, you know, or 815 or so in that area. So we'll go ahead and sell that. So we got a little Bex here. Let's see another 134. Um, you know, so yeah, almost around a million or so, so far. And we had some Borace and look, 13 SEO Borace for 45 grand. I'm, you know, I've, I've, I've come around on some of the tier two resources. So yeah, you can see that actually boosted me up well over a mil. And that was actually just four, four runs. I did really well on the Quantanium, obviously half mil of Quantanium and, you know, 20 SEO Quantanium and those four runs really did make a, a huge difference here. So Anyways, that was the day, right? It started out uh, with moving the cargo to the refinery, losing it, spawning the Mercury Star Runner two or three times on different regional servers. Two times, actually. One time on the EU server, one time back on a BAS server, and the cargo showing up, and then uh, you know proceeding from there. So it uh, could have been a bad situation, but it ended okay. And with that, I will see you all around the first.